at a certain point, when I realized I saw the structure of the novel as like a challah bread with three, with three strands. And there's the strand of Leslie, Sensa Tamori, there's the strand of Masha, and then there's the strand of Jacob. And they're kind of interwoven. And it was just confusing for my brain to kind of try and figure it out. Also, so much of really it was about proportion and trying, making it succeed was about figuring out where to break narrative, when it just felt like you needed to break again, when to take it up again. And because I think I'm a painter by, tra you know, by training, I see things more visually. So I needed to find a way of just seeing the whole book. And this is really the book. Uh, not every single scene, like in some cases, there are more than there's more than one scene um, in a in a in a block. But basically, it's movements. And then I would I was trying to create something where, and each strand of the narrative has its own code. M Leslie's yellow, and Jacob is red, and Mash is green. So we would have these interlocking, inter interweaving narratives, and I had to see how the balance would work in the whole thing and uh, and sort of see it as a painting almost so it would work visually and I wanted it to be something beautiful to look at almost and then I knew that it would kind of work as a narrative which obviously I would fudge it here and there and make changes that were literary changes but I think in a way that's so that's how I found you know that's how I found the novel really. I do think that there's a poetry to everyday language um, even the most, you know, not necessarily particularly elevated language, like just the way that people express themselves and how they betray themselves through language. And yeah, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It's just like the further you go into writing, the more opportunities you have to get it just right, to find a way for even banal things to become, to find the poetry in banal things. And I think the best training for that is really being a mother and having to do a lot of banal things and find the poetry in them. <laughs> There's no question, it's completely, amazingly liberating to, to write as a man, but particularly a man of that century. I, I, I got to experience being a man, which is a wonderful thing, but also not, I wouldn't really, not so much a man of this period, but a man, because I found being Leslie touching, or not being Leslie, but seeing through Leslie's eyes, who's a man of our time, you know, 40, in his 40s, very touching and weighty in a way. Um, but being Jacob, I found totally liberating. And really, you know, the way that his, the way he feels his sexuality, the freedom that he finds in his life. And he's also a fairly amoral person, at least, you know, in his living life. And that was really liberating because I am quite, I mean, I, I think ethics just have a lot to do with the way that I live my life, the way that I conduct myself, etc. It was so nice to play somebody who really doesn't have that problem. <laughs> What's interesting about what I said to play someone is that I do think that writing is acting in the sense that you have to become characters. And so, you know, if you're writing well, you are really in it so much that you feel what they feel, you know. But also, I guess I was really interested in trying to, you know, as time's gone on, because I direct films, I even acted for a little while, I'm married to an actor, you know, I have developed a tremendous and acute appreciation for what real acting is and the kind of, the kind of connection to a very deep source that people who are really gifted in that way have. And I became really interested in trying to find this girl, this girl who has, it's almost like a malady. And her, you know, the whole idea of being an artist as being an illness, something that I actually have thought a lot about. I think that it is a kind of illness um, that certain people have, and that she really, um, and what it feels like to her, and trying to break it down, like what it feels like on stage to her, that kind of amnesia that she gets when she feels like there's something under her feet that's coming out through her, her mouth, you know, this sort of sense of, of losing herself, of self-loss. And, and I think that that's <clears throat> of almost possession, and I think that there has to be a little bit of that in all art making, probably. I think so.